What do Mr. T, Sylvester Stallone, a nun, a rabbi, and Abraham Lincoln have in common? Are you curious? I'll let you know in just a moment. Hi, I'm Carl Bastian, and welcome to the Kidology Laboratory, where you always learn more about reaching and teaching kids for Jesus. You know, kids are curious, and we need to tap in to that curiosity in our teaching, in our ministries. It is so powerful. You see, kids are eager to learn. Sometimes we think they're nosy and prying, but really that is just their curiosity that sometimes gets them in trouble. I mean, I can hardly surprise my son with a gift for Christmas or his birthday because no matter where I hide it, he finds it. Not that he's looking for his presents, but that his curiosity leads him to my awesome hiding place. We need to tap in to the curiosity of kids in our ministry. Kids are eager to learn, and curiosity excites their expectation and their speculation. It engages their imaginations, and we need to use that for the purpose of making our teaching more exciting and more engaging with our kids. You see, curiosity is created when the answer is just hinted at. It's not immediately revealed. You see, kids don't learn from what they're told. They learn from what they discover. And curiosity is the secret to tapping in to their desire to learn so that when they arrive at the the teaching point that we're trying to communicate, they own it because they discovered it. So make sure in your teaching that you ask questions that gets kids engaged instead of just talking at them. Create the reveal. You can have an envelope or a drawing that's not done or something that's incomplete that gets kids wondering about it. You can do things in your room that as soon as they come in, they get curious wondering what's gonna happen today? What is all of that about? You know, when my mom taught, she took this really beautiful old treasure box and she painted it and she decorated it with gems and every week she would come out and she would sing this little song this is my box this is my box I never travel without my box what's in my box tonight and oh we would be on the edge of our seats just wondering what was in her box and throughout her lesson she would refer to the item in the box she would describe the item in the box occasionally she would torture us by lifting the lid and reaching in as though she was going to take it out and then she'd get a thought and she'd move away and the box would close and we'd be like ah oh. and at the end when we finally got the reveal it might be an everyday object, something completely normal to us, but she had built up such an anticipation that that reveal became the capstone of a powerful, engaging lesson. So make sure you do that. Allow for kids to wonder. Embrace their creativity. Give them something to be curious about, and that's what they'll talk about when they get home. All right, you want to know what Mr. T and Sylvester Stallone and uh, the nun and the rabbi have in common, along with Abraham Lincoln? Well, they are all part of my punching puppet collection. <laughs> that's right. Here's uh, Mr. T, and down here I've got Sylvester Stallone, and uh, we could see how they do in the ring. Yeah, that's right. Come on, you can do it. All right, I would start singing the Rocky theme, but I don't, I don't want to uh, mess it up. Or my nun and my rabbi here, uh, and here they are. Although, wouldn't they turn the other cheek? Ooh, there we go, turn the other cheek. Mr. Rabbi, well, this nun, she can stick up for herself. Oh, she just lost her boxing glove. And, uh, and then, of course, I've got my Abraham Lincoln. I didn't mention, I've also got an alien, and I've got a monkey, and I have been collecting these ever since literally I was a little boy. Well, they didn't seem to have anything in common, but they did. They're part of my punching puppet collection. Well, you know what? There are lots of different types of people in the world, different sizes, different shapes, different nationalities, different languages, but what do they all have in common? They all have in common that they all were made by God. And while they've all sinned, Jesus died on the cross for all of them, and they all can have salvation and forgiveness for their sins, and they all can go to heaven. See, when you create curiosity, you can then turn it into a lesson application that the kids will remember. Well, until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you on kidology.org, where we will continue our study of kidology, how kids think, relate, communicate, and learn, and you'll have access to thousands of creative resources. Until next time, 
keep being curious and tap in to the curiosity of your kids. <laughs>